Hi everyone, Eric Lewis here with GetZone.com for another episode of At The Range. Today we're going to talk a little bit about accessories, in particular those for an AR-15. As you probably already know, there are thousands of different accessories that you can add to your firearm. What I'd like to talk to you guys about today are firearm accessories, in particular those for the AR platform. As you probably already know, there are thousands of different accessories that you can put on your firearm. What I really want to hone in on is making sure that they're application specific. What I mean by that is just because they make it doesn't mean you need to run it on your firearm. These things make what is otherwise a sleek and agile firearm a bulky, heavy, almost useless machine. It may look cool, and I get it. I totally do. But if you don't own night vision and you've got an infrared laser on your gun, it's probably excessive. You're just doing it for the cool factor. So if you're actually going to use this, make sure it's application specific. So what are some examples of that? Um, personally, I have a firearm that I keep in my truck. Very basic because there's always a risk of somebody breaking in, stealing it. So I kept it low cost. It has iron sights so that I don't have to worry about batteries in it because if I need it, I'm not going to have time to dig it out and change a battery. So iron sights, basically bare bones. Just got a few magazines in there ready to go. That would be something that's application specific, my truck gun. Um, this firearm here in particular, it's chambered in larger than 223. It's a 6.8. Um, why? It's application specific. You may notice it's got a giant optic on top. That's a thermal optic. It's also suppressed. These all add weight. It adds length. But I'm sacrificing those because this is a night vision hunting rig for feral hogs. So I wouldn't put this on a firearm that was my everyday use gun or my truck gun. A, it's a risk of being stolen. So why would I put this expensive optic on there? And B, it's just excessive. It's, it adds bulk. It adds weight. Things like that. The suppressor is nice but I don't plan on having to use my truck gun and needing it to be suppressed. That's for self-defense. So those are a couple things to consider. Uh, perhaps you use it for something, if you're law enforcement, things like that. You see them, they have reflex sights. They're non-magnified. The reason is they use those for close quarter. They're in clearing buildings, things like that. They don't have time to acquire a target through a magnified optic that's close range. So those are a few of the things I just wanted to touch on. Make sure that when you're picking your accessories out, that they're application specific so that you're not having a firearm that's bulky, heavy, and only looks cool. I mean, it'd be okay if you have one of those in the safe to show off to your friends, but for the ones you use, focus on what you're gonna use it for and get the appropriate accessories so that it's the most functional firearm you could have.